Hi, this is Christine Blackledge Crowell here and welcome to another episode of our healthcare business training series 101. Now today I want to talk to you about how what is the difference between being registered with the Care Quality Commission or can you look at other aspects that you could actually be doing delivering a care service in the community without being registered with CQC. Now it's important that you always think about this. You're still delivering the same quality of care, the same standards. However, it's looking at other business models that you can do where you can get started straight away by working in partnership with other organizations, other governmental organizations like the county councils, for example, like charity organizations, like private organizations, private clients who have the choice as to who delivers their care. It is really important that you think about what model of business that you want to deliver. So I'm going to go through this with you. So if you do like what I'm about to say today, or if you haven't subscribed already, please smash like subscribe and share especially to someone that you feel will benefit from this video okay so i'm going to get started now so cqc registered being a provider you're looking at providing the regulated activity of personal care you would then also need a registered manager who is qualified to be able to manage the day-to-day -day running of the healthcare home care organization, i.e. that they need to have a level five or be working towards a level five in health and social care management. Now, there's a new framework, which is the quality framework. It's known as the WE statement. And this is where service users have got the right to say who delivers their care because they're the ones that are experiencing the outcomes from that care that's being delivered. So like I said, the WE framework will be used as an assessment tool to monitor a service that is delivering care into individuals' own homes. So like I said, the individuals that will be delivering the care, which will be healthcare workers, will be going in to deliver the regulated activity of personal care in individuals own homes. So I really do feel that it is a good step forward because now service users are more involved in how, how they want their care to be delivered. And it's important that they get to have a say because they're the ones that are experiencing the care that is being delivered. So it's like, let's get real here, hey, I'm the one that's getting the care delivered, so I should be involved with how I want my care delivered. So you'll see here, have a look at the six evidences which are to do with the statement of we statement or I statement of how they want their service to be delivered. So imagine you're registered as a care quality, sorry, you're registered as a care provider with the Care Quality Commission you've just undergone inspection as a new provider you're now waiting for you to get rated which could take you know up to two years before you're looking at getting working for your organization because some organizations will say hey i'm going to wait until you're rated then come and approach me but what can you do in the meantime you can be looking at this other model, which I'm going to be speaking about right now in this video. You haven't got time to wait. You don't want to be sitting around waiting, especially you've got an office to pay for. You've got your insurance that you're paying for, other things that you're paying for, as well as having a healthcare organization that's registered with CQC. You need to start thinking about how can I get working quickly for my organization in order for it to survive. You can't wait until you're rated with CQC. So let's look at the other option, which is providing a matching service 
by personal assistants who are self-employed that will deliver the care. This is called an introductory matching service, which is another model that I'm going to talk to you about in this video, which a lot of people aren't aware of, but yet it's been going on for a number of years now. And you don't want to miss out on this because clients, service users, have the choice of who is delivering their care and who they want to pay it to. So why should you not look at this business model? You're going to still have the same standards as the Care Quality Commission regulations, but you are looking at speaking with private clients as opposed to, for example, um, clients coming through to you from social services and that there's a package of care that will be delivered and that you will be paid from social services, it, this will be a different way of you getting paid as opposed to that way. So when you're looking at private clients, you're looking at personal assistants who match and have the relevant qualification still have the relevant qualification, DBS, update um, training, for example. They're qualified, they've got the insurance in place, and that they've gone onto a register, which uh, some of the county councils are actually allowing uh, healthcare assistants, personal assistants, who are self-employed to be on a register, to say that they've undergone all of the criteria in order to deliver a quality service, for example. So these personal assistants, you would send them, introduce them to clients, and then they would sit, have a chat with that client, talk about what that client wants, a mini assessment, and to see whether they can do the work, to see whether they can deliver the work. But also at the same time, the client is choosing which personal assistant that they want to have come into their own home. Now that is surely the best option that the client chooses who they want to have come into their home and deliver the care for them. The personal assistant, they're on a register, they've met all of the needs like they would do if they were working for a care agency, for example, Dom Care Agency. But with, the, with them being a personal assistant, they're being paid anything from £18 an hour to £25 an hour. That's without the, the fees, for example. Then you also then are being paid through the fees, for example. It's a win-win situation for everybody. The client is happy. The care is being delivered to the highest standard, not saying that any other care isn't being delivered to the highest standard, but the personal assistant is there. That's their business to make sure that they are delivering a high standard of care. The client is also happy with the personal assistant that they've chosen to come into the home. Because at the end of the day, they should be able to meet the person first. Not the care gets delivered and then, oh, there's possibly uh, so many matches, for example, isn't it best that you meet the carer first that's going to deliver the personal care to you, for example, or even mental health support, or even respite, or even living care? Aren't you meant to meet those people first that's gonna be in your home? I think it's a really good opportunity for organizations to look at this new business model because we do have a choice. Everyone that has care, I've been there myself where I've had a loved one that needed care. I didn't get the choice with who came in to my home. I didn't get to meet them first. So from a service user's point of view, all the relatives, for example, or friend, isn't it best to meet the person and then you decide who you want to have deliver the care? So I just wanted to reach out to everyone to look at this model. It is a good business model 
and if you want more information book a free 15 minute appointment with me and I'll go into greater depth with you of how best you can possibly look at this wonderful solution where we are helping individuals to be as independent as possible and having the quality of life as well. I hope you found that very helpful. Look and read the information here on this webpage and I'm really looking forward to speaking to you. Book your free 15 minute appointment with me and I'll gladly speak with you more about it. What models are you going to go for? Are you going to go for the CQC model or are you going to go for the matching service model? The choice is yours. Hope this served you well. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Like I said, click like, subscribe and listen out for further new videos. We've got web classes, we've got some boot camps happening as well and I'd like you to join us live when we've got our uh, lives going on. We've even got Facebook live. I'm going to be doing a YouTube live as well. So I hope you can join us. Click like, subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye. I woke up this morning and I thank God for the day. I know things ain't what they could be, but I got a smile on my face. No more tears, no more fears. They won't get the best of me no more. I can stand still or I can move on. So I'm gonna move.